I'm Gordon Eastman, who produced this True Life outdoor adventure film on hunting, fishing, and wildlife. Wilderness adventure and fair chase trophies define him. A son adds to the legacy and becomes the voice for a generation of hunters. Today, a third generation pursues trophy big game in places where success comes from skill, determination, and grit. Now, 60 years of hunting tradition comes down to one defining moment. We're the Eastmans. Our family's been hunting and filming out west for over 60 years. And these are just a few of our adventures. This is Eastman's Hunting TV. It's big game hunting, and it's as real as it gets. Eastman's Bow Hunting Journal is brought to you by Sig Sauer, Cryptic, Savage, and Eastman's Bow Hunting Journal. Hey folks, Ike Eastman here, your host of Eastman's Hunting TV. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to extend your season. Dan Picard, one of our bow hunting guys, loves elk hunting. He has spent all September, tipped over some really nice bulls. He's killed a really nice mule deer, but how do you extend that season from September, October, on into November. One of the ways we do it out west is we whitetail hunt. Dan has got a unique hunt today. He's gonna do it from the ground, spot and stock style. So let's go see if he can put a sharp stick through one of these crafty animals. This portion of the show has been brought to you by Baku E-Bikes, the scent-free way to get you farther, faster. Welcome back. It's November and Dan Picar is bow hunting river bottom whitetail. Let's see if he and Frank can outsmart a traveling buck. Yeah, there's does in there. I want to get my decoy out. 
so it's visible from anything coming this direction, which is upwind of us. Anything coming from that way. myself but we got our decoy on the gravel bar anything coming from over here is going to be distracted by the decoy and i'll be able to shoot him i just need a deer now pretty good little setup we got some trails behind us and a scrape too we got good cover Eastman's Hunting Strategies is brought to you by Onyx Hunt. Know where you stand. So one of the new features from Onyx in 2023 is an improved compass mode. And we're gonna take a look at that right now and show you how it can help you scouting and in the field to acquire that animal, whether it's before the shot or after the shot. On the lower right hand corner, you've always been able to show your precise location with Onyx uh, app utilizing the GPS in your phone. And so I'm going to hit that and then I'm going to hit it again so it shows my direction that I'm orienteering towards. Once that happens, you'll see uh, a little button that you can push that's just two buttons above uh, your little arrow marker and that is your compass. And you're gonna notice, I mean, Onyx has always had a compass mode, but man, significant improvements to, to the compass mode here for 2023. And so we're gonna move around here and above the, the compass mode that we selected, you'll see on the satellite button that I just popped up there, right above that, there's a little range finder looking icon. And so I'm gonna click on that. And if you notice what that does is I can essentially tell what a range is, close range, long range, to any piece of terrain. I'm gonna turn that on. And so if I'm, this is a really useful in the field tool. So that way if I'm planning a stock or I'm planning uh, closing the distance on an animal or maybe I've already shot an animal and I have to go across a giant canyon to get to them, which actually happens quite often, um, I can shoot a point with my compass on my app by holding it just like this, and I can hit a point where the animal was on the train, looking at the satellite imagery that I've already cached to my device in the backcountry, and I can tell exactly how far that is. And some people, yeah, you could use it for a shooting tool potentially, but personally, I would use it for a game recovery tool because as we all know, when you get to the other side of a basin, the other side of a drainage, and you look back and try to remember where you were uh, when you shot with a rifle, for example, or maybe where you shot with your bow and, and you blood trailed the animal and you saw it fall. Um, looking back 180 degrees behind you, the terrain looks completely different. And so this handy tool allows you to pinpoint exactly which cover the animal went into and so you can essentially walk right up to the animal. Pretty cool tool from Onyx. To take our game from the field to the freezer and everything in between, Eastman's Hunting TV depends on the razor sharp replaceable blade knives and game processing sets that get the job done fast from Outdoor Edge. Hello folks, this is Eastman's. Dan Prakar is putting his rattle bag to work to try and bring a whitetail buck within bow range.
we're on a pretty good little travel corridor here. So I just lean the decoy up next to the fence and we'll see what happens. It's a little bit of something. We're kind of in a ditch right here and we have some of this hawthorn that we're sitting by in these corner posts, but it's, it's pretty good cover. We'll see what happens. We have some good lanes here. I like my railroad tie for cover. <laughs> Get skinny, I'd buy that. Matt. Matt. Eastman's Bow Hunting Journal is brought to you by Sig Sauer Electro Optics, Cryptic Battlefield to Backcountry, Savage Where Better Comes Standard, Zamberlin Discover the Difference, Eastman's Tag Hub Your Hunt Starts Here, Outdoor Edge Quality Knives and Tools for the Big Game Hunter, Eastman's Bow Hunting Journal Your Stories, Your Photos, Your Magazine. This is Ike Eastman, your host. Eastman's bow hunter Dan Picard just arrowed a huge whitetail buck who was trying to find love in all the wrong places. Well, arrow just passed right on through the evolution hide. He went like 150 yards, we watched him go down, but it did its job. It was pretty sweet, 30 yards. Holds right on and fire. I was a little bit forward, far forward on him, and he was quartering away, so I think I hit him in the forward of the, you know, of the lungs. So I should have held a little bit back, but he was pretty close to broadside. I smoked him though. Exciting 30 yard shot. Big old rutted up mature bugger. I love this stuff. That was so fun. Great little buck. Nice and wide. Heck, I'll take that any day of the week. Especially on this tag where I'm on. <laughs> Perfect arrow. The old phase four. I mean, what else is there to say? That was. Awesome. We're out here during rifle season, bow hunting, rattling on the ground. That's what I live for. I've been doing this for a lot of years. And uh, it's just fun to get back out here and do it again. I shot a buck out of a ground blind last year. And it's fun. I mean, sitting ground blind, you gotta do what you gotta do uh, to get it done. But this was cool. Decoy, rattling, 30 yards. Awesome. <laughs>